Uh, for Thomas, like for many of us, there is reasonable doubt in all of this talk of death and burial and resurrection. We cannot see God. We were not there with Jesus. We tend to only believe what we can touch and feel. This certainly was true of Thomas. And certainly in our experience, we've not heard of anyone coming back from the, res- from the dead. I mean, resurrection from the dead is not a common experience, is it? And yet for Thomas and for us, this doubt needs to turn to faith. How does doubt turn to faith? Faith is important. One of my favorite verses is Hebrews eleven six, 6, which says, without faith, it's impossible to please God, for anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists, that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Thomas was not in a place of faith. The crucifixion was painful for him as it was for all of the disciples. He was probably one of those who went to his own home because what we'll read in the text is that he wasn't there. When Jesus appeared to the other disciples that uh, evening of the first day, Thomas wasn't there. And when he hears from the disciples, he's not quick to believe. If we read the text here, it says, Thomas, who is also known as Didymus, this is verse 24, One of the 12 was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we've seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were in the house again and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, my Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. For Thomas, it wasn't enough just to hear from Mary and the other disciples that they had seen the Lord. He doubted, he needed to see, and yet a week later he saw. And his response is so quick, my Lord and my God. From doubting Thomas to believing Thomas, that's what we'll see in this uh, disciple of Jesus. And to be clear, it was Jesus who changed him. It was the resurrected Christ. It was the light of the gospel. It was the truth of God that changed Thomas's heart. It was the light of Jesus shining in the darkness. 